I wanted to uh, go over something really quick with you guys. I made a purchase here recently of a new device uh, provided by and designed by Gary Fong, which is his new collapsible light spear. Uh, I had used uh, previous light spears, um, a number of the Fog and a number of the other models, and if you're familiar with Gary Fong's uh, spears, then you know which models I'm referring to. This one is unique because of the fact that it is collapsible. Now, I've already opened this box because I used this recently on a wedding that I shot this last weekend, but I went ahead and put everything back in the box as I got it from uh, the local camera store just to show you guys what comes in the box and how you can utilize this with different size flashes as well as you know the different uh, filters that come with your flashes you know your green and your amber and now Gary Fong offers filters that work with this and basically what comes in the box is the traditional dome and I'll show you how that works here in just a second some green paper I'm still not sure what that's for and here is the light spear. And this ring is used for um, the kicker if you're using that, but if you're not, if you don't have a kicker, you really don't even need this. You can just discard that. Well, not discard it, but you know, you can put that aside. And in the box comes a simple card explaining how to use your. Um, flash in conjunction with the spear, directional, um, you know, what some suggestions for camera settings are, you know, things like that. On the back, it's showing you, again, how to, excuse me, the glare, guys, it's showing you how to put the spear on the flash, how to orientate it for portrait or landscape, and what it should look like, open as well as closed, and I'll demonstrate that with the actual spear itself. Also in the box, and I actually thought this was kind of funny, um, <laughs> he has um, some hand drawings of, I guess, examples of how he's used uh, the flash in the past, which is very similar to the card, and some other little settings that are on the back. Not a very good uh, copy of that, but it's in the box, so I thought I'd show it to you. Now, this retails for about $65.00. But I tell you, in certain situations where you really need that extra light and you're concerned about casting shadows, you know, this comes in extremely, extremely handy. Now, again, here's the light spear collapsed. And then when you open it, it literally just pops open, okay? And if you, if you can see closely here, there's some ribbing inside of this one. This is not fogged, but what it does is it allows the light to be a little bit softer due to the ribbing that's inside of it. Now, the dome itself can be used two different ways, okay? Traditionally, the dome would be placed in this fashion. That's what most people are familiar with. But this one now allows you to reverse the dome to give you just a little bit more light as you're um, adjusting for ambient light or you want to soften the light, you're doing portraits or whatever the case would be. And I think that's an amazing intervention. And I think a lot of people probably were looking for something that could do this. And as you see, it just fits right inside. You know, it stays in, you don't worry about it falling out. And that's what it's going to look like. If you can see that up close. Okay, now what I'm going to show you here what this will look like actually going on to one of the flash units. Okay guys, what we have here is a Nikon D300 mounted with a SB800, you know, the older flash unit. And I'm going to attempt to get this light spear on right over the head and this just pops right into place. And that's pretty much what it looks like when it's collapsed. And to open it, you just pull it forward. And it pretty much stays in place. 
So if you're looking at it from the inside, that's what you would see. Profile would be this. Now, one of the things that I've always noticed with the SB800s, it kind of rides a little bit high. All of these spears do, and they bump right up against the uh, secondary battery. But, you know, once you get used to that, that's not really a big deal. So, if you have it here, you could just pop your dome in. And again, like I said, this is rubber. It feels almost like a latex type of material. <clears throat> I have it in an awkward position to be trying to put this in. Hold on. And this just fits right into place. Well, it was so much easier before I started shooting the video. But anyway, fits right into place. And stays in pretty good. So that's the traditional um, configuration of how you would normally see this utilized from the older version of the Light Spears. But in the this version, you have the advantage of inverting this dome and you get this configuration. So let me turn the flash on. And you can see what that looks like. Now one of the cool things I always liked about the SB800s is the ability to use it kind of as a spotlight or a way of metering to see what your light's going to look like before the flash went off. So it has this little button here in the back. If you can see that there. This flash keeps going off. That's what it looks like. So again, that's on the SB800 mounted on a Nikon D300, but it would be no different if that flash was mounted on